What's up guys? So today's video is gonna be on an army boot camp reaction video. I'm gonna let you know what is similar, what is the difference between Marine Corps and Army. I'm just gonna let you know why the Marine Corps is the best of the best. But let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, let's go, let's go. Why are you moving? Why are you moving? Huh? 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 Ah, get this is Army Boot Camp. I just want to say that is one ugly ass motherfucking ass bitch. God, that motherfucker is ugly. Before they join the United States Army, all recruits have to graduate from a 22 week program known as one station unit training. So it's 22 weeks, I guess, for the Army because they incorporate their basic training with like our equivalent to our ITB to the infantry training. So I guess why it's 22 weeks. Also known as OSIT. It happens here at Fort Benning, a 182,000 acre military installation that straddles the Alabama-Georgia border about 100 miles southwest of Atlanta. Every year, more than 18,000 soldiers graduate before joining the more than 470,000 people actively serving in the Army. 470,000 people in the Army. There, I don't think there's barely even 100,000 Marines. So that should tell you something right there. Probably the best for a reason. Not everyone can be a Marine. 14, 15. Although most of the recruits that we saw during our time there were male, recruits trained together in gender integrated platoons. These yeah, no, you don't get that. You don't get to see no females in the Marine in fucking basic training in the Marine Corps. No. Young men and women that volunteer to serve, they show up to us as civilians, and then we take them to, through a transformative process to turn them into soldiers. Let's go to the position of attention, and you stay in position of attention. This is called about the job of attention, and you're watching the other job of attention. This is about the job of attention. Come on, man. How you can't take anybody seriously sound like that? That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Come on, man. It's a joke. On a rain soaked week in February, we spent four days inside the Army's Maneuver Center of Excellence which trains soldiers to serve in the infantry and armor branches. We saw different companies at various stages of training. On day one, new infantry recruits on a bus from the Atlanta airport arrive at the 30th AG Battalion headquarters, where all new recruits are received. Listen up! You ain't got one here for you at this point. It's yes, drill sergeant, no drill sergeant. Do you understand? Yes, drill sergeant. Yeah, I don't know if you peeped that one kid in the like go army shirt. Uh, he barely said anything. Half of them, half of them barely said anything. They have no fear in their body. I promise you, when the drill instructor first steps on the bus in the Marine Corps, I promise you, the fear is going to be instilled in you instantly. I promise you, you're going to be screaming for your life. You're not going to even know why, but you're going to be screaming for your life. I tell you, you will pass your boulders to the front. The minimum age to enlist in the Army is 17, and the maximum age is 35. The base salary for an entry level private is about $20,000 a year. Let's go! Uh, I don't know about that. I just did a video on military pay for 2020, and a basic level private is not making $20,000 a year. So, hmm. 30 seconds! Hurry up! Find your back! Once they're off the bus, yes, the first order of business is establishing the code of conduct. Hey, you don't have to worry about getting a bag for the Marine Corps. You don't, you don't get a bag for boot camp. You don't have to worry about being fast and getting your bag. Just letting you know. I promise you, if you don't pay attention to what I'm about to tell you, you're going to make your Army career very short. You treat everybody with dignity and respect, regardless of race, religion, color, national origin, gender, sexual orientation, and all other protected categories. Yes? Yes, Drill Sergeant! Sexual assault is any unwanted physical contact in a sexual nature. So if you put your hands on another individual and you're not instructed to or you're not saving their life and they file a sexual assault, and it comes down that you put your hands on this individual when you weren't supposed to, that is gonna be on you. You will get kicked out of the military and then you'll probably have to file as a registered sex offender. Do you understand? Yes, Drill Sergeant! Before they go inside, 
the new recruits learn some basic commands and standing positions. Everyone look down at their toes. You should be able to fit a slice of pizza in between your toes. If you look around, they're gonna see you. Cause you're taller than everyone else! Quickly! Who wanna sit there? Move your feet! Grab one and go, it's all the same! The recruits grab the snack that's waiting for them inside, consisting of a fruit cup, sunflower seeds, a granola bar, and a juice box. Watch the video! Hey, I'm just gonna let you know, you're gonna learn to love, we call it box show in Marine Corps. I'm telling you, I still love box show this day. I'll eat, I can live off box show. It's, box show is good. Remain silent! Since 1775, the Army has been the bearer of our nation's strength in every crisis or conflict. Make no mistake about it, the journey you are embarking upon will not be easy, but you wouldn't be here if we didn't think you couldn't meet the challenge. Listen up, your last four years social. After being welcomed, recruits begin. Yeah, you don't get an instructional video for the Marine Corps. You just send a classroom and stare at a wall and rethink your whole freaking life. What's known as processing, which can take one to two weeks before. One to two weeks? Yeah, no, you get one or two days to get processed and then you're already like about to start your training in the Marine Corps. Like you have a receiving drill instructor for like your first week and then that Friday you meet your real drill instructors and you instantly start training. You don't get one to two weeks to adjust, no. You get like days to adjust. Where their actual training begins. In a little bit we're giving you a period to go in a room by yourself. First, they're given one last chance to discreetly dispose of prohibited contraband like drugs, alcohol, tobacco, and inappropriate photographs. If any photo you possess on your phone is less than a bathing suit, you will not have it. You will delete them all. Well, one, you don't have to worry about a phone because you don't get a phone. And all the prohibited stuff, like, you're not going to even bring it because you're going to be scared that you're going to get messed up. I'm telling you, a whole different level in the Marine Corps. We, we wouldn't even think about bringing anything like that to boot camp. And like I said, you don't have to worry about bringing a phone because you don't get a phone. Recruits get rid of contraband in an amnesty room, where they dispose of it by throwing it down a metal chute. Is anybody confused on what you can and cannot have? The next morning, the recruits report to the barber shop. Where yeah, you saw that? He smiled. He's having a great time. No, you don't smile. I don't. I don't think I saw anyone smile at boot camp. Out of my whole 13 weeks. Because it's not a good time. There's nothing to laugh, nothing to smile about at all. But hey, I guess the Army's a little different. He's smiling. Looks like he's having a good time. One barber has worked at Fort Benning for almost 60 years. I've been here ever since 1963. That's a long time. I should have been a retired long time ago. But I wake up in the morning now. I'd be wanting to come out here and go to work. Recruits are issued uniforms. They receive a series of immunizations and vaccines and get their official photo taken, along with myriad housekeeping details that fill up their one to two week stay in processing. Hey, sit up straight. That is until processing ends and the time for training finally arrives. Let's go, grab your bags and go. We found a company of recruits about to begin training in the armor school. Those are bridal. These recruits are about to be picked up and taken to their barracks, where they'll reside for the rest of their training. Let's go. You guys are going to the front. Let's go. This is the last chance for recruits to change their minds before training begins. Like one Yo, I wish I had the opportunity to change my freaking mind. I wish I had one or two weeks to decide if I really wanted to do it or not. Yeah, no, you don't get that opportunity yet. I'm pretty sure you just say, like, hey, I don't want to be here. George Doctor's like, Marine Corps, you're like, oh, okay, come here, and I'm going to fuck you up, and then you're going to want to be here type thing. Like, no, you don't get to change your fucking mind. Once you get to Paris Island, it's done. It's over. Nada. You're here for 13 weeks. Recruit who decided to stay behind. This short bus ride from processing to their new barracks will be the most peaceful moments these recruits will experience for a while. The only peaceful moment you have before you get to Paris Island is the plane ride. Once you see a drill instructor or whoever, once you get on that bus, there is no more peaceful. You don't get any peace until you leave Paris Island. So yeah, we don't have any peaceful moments at boot camp. 
What happens next is known as the shark attack. Run, run, at no time will you walk. You will run, everyone you freaking go. Go, run, run. Oh no, not the shark attack. They have whistles and megaphones. Yeah, no, our drill instructors don't use whistles or megaphones. They use their freaking voice. They're like demons, literally. They're fucking straight from hell. We have what's called a uh, get fucked for 13 weeks. That's what we have. Get your bags up right now. Get your bags up no, this way. No, no, no. Do it, tough guy. Do it, fool. Do something. Do something. That's what I thought. Are you still not understanding? He just said it. Well, it's really just a little shock to the system. Yeah, I don't know if you peeped, but uh, the first dude that were yelling at, he just gave him a good head nod. He's like, I, I got you, bro. The second one didn't even say nothing. He didn't scream. You will never see that at Paris Island. You will see everybody, the whole 13 week scream for their life, no matter what you're told. So we can break them down to build them back up. We're breaking a lot of habits uh, from the civilian world and nothing better than a little shock to the system to establish that that drill sergeant is in charge to let us start our training. Pick up your bag and hold it. The recruits spend much of the shark attack holding their heavy rucksacks above their heads, oh, which takes a physical toll. Why is that so difficult? You can't pick that bag up. You decided to join the army and you can't pick that bag up. Right side bag, right side bag. Boy, now the army trifling for that. They ain't had to show that boy that many times. Like that boy is ugly as hell. You stop showing that boy in this video. Y'all know y'all trifling for that. Whoever made this, y'all trifling. After about 20 minutes, the intensity begins to subside. And the drill sergeant's tone changes. We only produce the best soldiers in the United States Army. Before training officially begins. Yeah. After the shock and awe of the shark attack, things do appear to calm down. Calm down. Yeah, I wish that I wish that had happened to me. Calm down. I didn't get any breaks. Like I said, straight get fucked for 13 days. Is it, is it, is it a video? It's a movie. Oh, movie, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Three, four, seven. So I always wanted to be a star. See, so, yeah, if we had that and somebody was like filming us, made a movie. One, they probably shut down the Marine Corps, saying all the crap that happens at boot camp. Two, like a drill sergeant came around, like, oh, y'all want to laugh? Ha, ha, ha. Let me fuck you up for everybody in this movie. You know what I'm saying? They would have, like, oh, y'all want a movie? Oh, I'll show you this, blah, blah, blah. They would just fucked us all up. So, yeah, that's, that's why I can't do this kind of stuff for the Marine Corps. It wouldn't work. We found this group of infantry soldiers in week 11 of their training, practicing on the firing range. The mood was much more relaxed. Try to get eat up on my <laughs> And their conversations with their drill sergeants are conducted at normal volumes. One, you will never laugh with your drill instructor. I don't think I laughed one time. I never had a normal volume. I don't know what normal volume is. If normal volume scream at the top of my lungs, then that's what my normal volume is. You will never just straight up talk like I'm talking right now to a drill instructor. Never work. Like when this drill sergeant educated the recruits on the meaning of the military expression, ate up. Is a piece of ate up gum good? You don't want something that's ate up, right? If you want something fresh, you break the seal, it smells like olive oil, right? Okay. That dynamic changes because we want the soldiers to become more critical thinkers. At that point, we are turning into more coaches and mentors. We dial it back a little bit, so we don't want them frightened. We want them to be comfortable and in a state of mind that is receptive to learning and performing at that level. Yeah, they don't want us to be comfortable and or like relax at all in boot camp. They want you to fear like for your life and be as more like as uncomfortable as you can possibly be. That's what the whole point of it is. It's breaking you down and building you to what you're supposed to be. So you're not supposed to be comfortable. So yeah. Up to 241 hours of infantry OSIT are devoted to marksmanship, where recruits fire about 2,500 rounds using the M4 carbine, as well as the M249 squad automatic weapon, or SAW. We create lethality. We create expert marksmen at their individual weapons, because as an infantry soldier, that's what we're asking them to do.
recruits get one of the most painful parts of training out of the way early. Once we check your seal, you will not touch your ProMat. This group of infantry recruits was exposed to CS gas or tear gas in week one of their training. You're going to continue to pile in until we tell you to stop. You're going to place your back against the wall. The recruits spend about five minutes inside the gas hut. <laughs> yeah, you saw the girl came out. Yeah, worst five minutes of your life. And uh, they don't check, like Marine Corps, they're not going to check your seal. They'll show you how to put it on. If you don't get it right, you don't get it right. Also, like drill instructors come take out like your filter so you just help inhale and straight CS gas for the whole five minutes. They're like take out the little piece, like pieces inside your gas mask so your gas mask doesn't work. But, yeah, there's a whole bunch of fuckery that happens in the Marine Corps. Upon exiting the gas hut, the recruits are told to flap their arms like birds to remove excess gas from their uniforms. <sighs> According to a drill sergeant, the effects of the gas begin to wear off after about four minutes. Some training moves indoors, like combatives, where recruits learn hand-to-hand -hand self defense tactics. We're trying to teach them to uh, achieve a dominant body position. So get out of one negative position and then switch roles so they end up having the upper hand in a fight. During combatives training, Recruits warm up with a particularly painful looking exercise, referred to as the EO. While laying on their backs, they have to engage their core to wiggle across the entire room. They use their momentum, shoulder blades, their, their core to help them create space, warm up the body. Recruits work up a major appetite during training, but Fort Benning is big and they're not always within range of the dining facility. When they're training in the field, recruits are issued MREs, which stands for Meal Ready to Eat. Each comes with an entree, like this vegetarian pasta with taco sauce, along with- Yo, that's like one of the worst MREs. Hey, in the whole, like, whatever little McMap, well, our version of McMap they were doing, whatever, you don't, your warm up is like high knees, jumping jacks, push ups, you don't get to do any of that stupid little roll around crap they were doing with an assortment of items like mixed fruit, an energy bar, and this instant French vanilla cappuccino. Recruits just add water, shake it up, and enjoy. Once they're fortified, recruits return to their training. Recruits spend up to 60 hours in training known as MOUT, which stands for Military Operations in Urban Terrain. Door left, door left. Door man calls door left. Infantrymen are expected to fight in different types of terrain and survive and win the fight. Right now, they are getting their first taste of uh, what that's like in an urban environment. Rolling tea. All right, coming up. In uh, operations across Afghanistan, Iraq, we are conducting clearance operations and uh, it's applicable wherever we go. Boom. It's important for the future soldiers' muscle memory because they are working as a team with minimal communication and they have to understand how that coordination works together. Do it again. After 22 weeks of training, these infantrymen are ready to leave Fort Benning. Friends and family gather to watch their soldiers graduate on NOA Field. They look like soldiers, they act like soldiers, they're carrying their head high. I have trainees that were not alive when 9-11 happened. I think that's pretty powerful that I still can find American citizens that want to volunteer to serve their country when we continue to ask them to go to combat. Yeah, I don't gotta worry about that these days. Ain't nobody saying combat. There's no war going on. These new infantrymen don't have long to greet their loved ones. Get on the bus! Or say goodbye to their friends before leaving Fort Benning to begin their service in the United States Army. Hey, after basic training for us, you do get 10 days home, so they don't worry about that. Well, guys, that was a little comparison between us and the Army, us Marines and the Army. 
hopefully you got a little bit out of it see why us marines are the best of the best why we are but guys if you like the reaction if you want me to react to another branch just let me know down in the comments guys if you like the video give the video a like also consider hitting that subscribe button guys but as always thanks for watching